I think what's most important as well is that uh, this film, Roy Boss Restitution, uh, which will be a uh, premiere tonight, the first time that it will be on screen tonight, doesn't only tell the history of the Koya and the San and their ability to use Roy Boss uh, and how, you know, they've been left out over the several years in terms of the financial gains uh, that Roy Boss has actually, the T, um, has actually gained over the years, but also uh, looking at the fact that uh, towards the end of last year, well, at the end of last year, 2018, that community was gutted by a fire. So this film is not only to tell that story about the Roybos restitution, but it's also to try and uh, garner some funds to help that community, you know, which was gutted by a fire, uh, just to get them up and going again in terms of rebuilding their houses and rebuilding that community. But for more, we're going to speak to a, uh, the filmmaker, Silva, who's going to tell us a bit more in terms of some of the main elements that come out of um, uh, this film, uh, you know, to create awareness and education for the community and also tell this important, pivotal story of the Koyan San. The people of the Sederberg Belt and Vipital in specifically have fought a battle on behalf of all of us to get acknowledgement for the traditional uses of rooibos and honeybush that belongs to the Koi and the San people. And not just get acknowledgement, next step is to get benefits via a formal agreement called access and benefit sharing and it just means that the big rich commercial growers will have to pay the Koi and San community um, benefits for being able to exploit rooibos and already the Nestle big multinational company has an agreement with the community as a result of the fight that they've had and they have already made payments to the community in terms of this agreement. And then when we talk of this community specifically for uh, the viewers at home uh, just to try and paint a picture what kind of a community are we speaking about? It's such a beautiful community and you know this for me has been such a bittersweet story because first of all there's this history, historic victory of, of their recognition and the benefits that they will be getting from that. And then the fire happens, you know, but people have been rallying. The fire has just brought this community together in such a way. It is deep in the Cedarberg Mountains, very hidden villages like Vipital and Kleinfle and Yeningfle, and they're sort of out of our awareness because they are so geographically isolated. But the fire has brought people together and they've rallied round and they will be arriving as we speak to come and see this premiere and to tell the people of Cape Town what they're doing to rebuild their village. But they need our support. They need our support to support the film, to support their fundraising initiatives to rebuild their arms. Their big aim right now is to get out of the temporary housing before winter. Thank you so much, Sylvia, for your time. Well, there we have it. Um, apart from the important factor, um, you know, of highlighting the history of South Africa, especially the Koi and the San, looking at how they've contributed to an element that plays a huge role in our community in terms of traditional medicines and what Roy Boss is also used for, but also the element that at least now they are going to get some recognition uh, for what they've historically always known. But for now, it's back to you in studio.